Good afternoon, peeps. Welcome back to the vlog. So today is just a car cleaning kind of vlog. Uh, in the last video, I showed you guys what my cleaning supply was when we installed the steering wheel. Uh, but on this one, I'm just going to show you basically what I do when I wash my car. Uh, I have everything out already. Uh, I don't have... Um, so I bought this and I also have a Canon. But I don't have a pressure washer. So we're going to do it by hand like we usually do. Uh, I got this from... AutoZone, I think. No, no, this is Walmart. Uh, I got this from Walmart too. This is nothing to do with cleaning. Uh, a couple things from Adams. I'm not sure if I use all this. I, I never use this. I use this once. I think I use this once because my car, my wheels are ceramic coated, so it really don't. I just you just have to spray on, and it and wipe off. It comes off. Um, I'm gonna use some of the detailing spray today. Definitely use some of the windshield washer uh some tire shine this one's a tire shine i'm not going to use i'm going to use this for the interior or purpose cleaner for the interior um i think that's pretty much all we're going to use today besides the soap uh the car is already you know we're already ready and prepped uh just need to pour it on this i use this right here for the foam cannon when i'm at squirrel so i'm running low uh squirrels got has a pressure washer so yeah got a bunch of microfiber towels uh, i think we're gonna start with the wheels um i want to show you guys i redid this mirror uh, but it's not a i mean i fixed the top part but i mean it's not as clean as i want it getting wrinkled here and then these things but mirror caps coming door handle still haven't done yet i got a schedule appointment this week already with uh kit so he's gonna do this black for me i am gonna go with the black route guys uh, i think you'll match the car pretty good i'm looking into side skirts the rear spats i canceled the order uh, mainly because i don't think it will look right because we are changing the whole bumper anyways so i don't want to waste money on the rear spats so i canceled it plus it's been too long i actually add a strip you remember this part was white i actually had a like strip right here so it's not white anymore i did the same thing on the other side I need to fix this. I'm going to fix this tomorrow because I'm lazy today. Uh, yeah. Other than that, we're just going to get to the cleaning. And that's about it. I'm going to pre-rinse the car and then work on the wheels and work on the rest. Actually, this vinyl is really awesome because I haven't cleaned this car for about a week. And it still looks all really, really clean. I mean, unless you rub your hand across it to get it, you know, see a little black dirt. But... Other than that, the car is hella clean, which I like compared to the white, which it gets dirty really quick. I mean, not, not you know, it gets dirty quick, not like black cars, but still. But yeah, with this green color, I clean a lot less. <laughs> the wheels will get still dirty, but you know, with a quick waterless wash spray and it just uh, wipe it down, we're good. But yeah, let's get a full cleanup because the main reason why we want to clean this car because we're going to car show this Sunday. And I want the car to look really good. I want to wipe it over one more time before we get there. But mainly the full focus clean is going to be today. Because it's not going to rain for the rest of the week. And I'm not really going to drive this car. So it's going to stay clean. Hopefully as long as this pine tree don't come down on us. We've been getting a couple days of bad weather. Finally storm is away. And now get to enjoy some nice weather today. I'm actually in the t-shirt which is pretty cool. But yeah let's get to the cleaning. Use some of this uh, rubber and tire cleaner. Pretty much just spray it on here and then let it clean itself. And then you, all you have to do is just spray it with water later. Ceramic coat these wheels in the brake pad already, so I don't really have to scrub. Technically, all you need to do is pour some water over it and then wipe it down, but 
Since we got soap, might as well. I love these gloves. It uh, feels really funny, but at least you know what you're touching. You know, try to get it deep in there as much as possible. My favorite part of these wheels are still the lug nuts. These uh, R40 Iconics is very nice. Give you that attic security because it takes two keys to even take these lug nuts off. And uh, it's not that easy to take off <laughs> compared to like if you buy an AutoZone one where you can get a universal key and pretty much any universal key could open those lugs. So yeah. Pretty much that's it I do for the wheels. We don't do too much. Just rinse it off afterwards. But I'm gonna do the whole car before. Actually, I'm gonna rinse it off. Could rinse it off right now. I mean, some people take a lot of time. Some people get toothbrushes uh, or scrub the inside of the wheel well. But like I said, since it's ceramic coated, there's no need for me to scrub. Just have to spray it down. And I do highly recommend you guys ceramic coat your wheels. Even your carbon fiber pieces, you ceramic coat it. It protects it from UV and keep it clean, so. It's gonna be repetitive, so I'm just gonna show you that first wheel. And then I'll probably speed through the rest of the, the wheels. Or skip you guys right into cleaning the body of the car. I think the hardest part for cleaning the car is drying it and uh, the interior. Sometimes I skip doing the interior. I just do the <laughs> exterior because I don't have a lot of passenger, and the most part they get dirty is just the dash and uh, the uh, the driver's side is a floor. It's the only time it gets dirty. Other than that, the whole car stays clean on the inside. So I finished the other three wheels, well, other two uh, wheels. And now I'm just gonna pretty much soap everything down, scrub everything down. I know you guys know how to clean your car, but I guess this is just my steps to do it. Most likely it's probably like yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too much of a big difference. Yeah, foam canning helps out a lot. I think next month I'm going to buy me a pressure washer. Help. I mean, if it's still uh, cold, I guess. I mean, I think it's still going to stay warm. Even if it's cold, I'm still going to clean my car, though. Got to keep it clean. Can't drive around with a dirty car. I mean, you can drive around with a dirty car. But I prefer not to. So now pretty much I'm going to rinse it off and uh, instead of drying it, I'm going to spray the detailing spray and then I'm going to dry it.
Usually I wipe the windows down before I do anything else because I don't want the street marks on the windows. Uh, that's the first thing I wipe down. I don't spray the window with detailing spray. I do use window cleaner afterwards. Yeah, that's what, that's what I usually do. We get the detailing spray and spray it onto all the wet spot and wipe it down with the microfiber towel. I usually start with the hood and then I work with through the fenders all the way back and the front bumper is usually last. I don't know why, but that's what I've always been doing. So yeah, it's gonna be a Adam detailing spray. It's pretty much, has to be on a wet surface so it don't dry it and then use it. I don't know, that's what they told me. At least Squirrel does it like that as well. So I can be wrong. Like most things, but I see, I find it works like that, so might as well keep it like that, right? Like I said, I do go over it again with a dry towel just to make sure it's completely dry. And this smells pretty good too, it has a good smell to it. Towels wet, get a new one. So this is a new towel. I'm gonna do it once over, then open the door and also do inside the doors. I go through like six of these towels. So, you use a microfiber towel, make sure you get a few of them because it gets wet pretty, it gets wet and soaked pretty good. Usually take my shoes off. <laughs> I don't want to dirty this mat. Vacuum is usually really at the end for me. I'm st I still love this steering wheel so much. Uh, I replaced this. This ran out. So I, you can get this on Amazon. I'll put the link on the bottom if you guys like this. This smell is really, really good. So it wasn't too bad, three for like 20 bucks or something like that. It smells really good. Uh, I was a glass cleaner. I do spray the glass first because, and then I'll do this. Usually that's how I do it. I mean, you could do it differently, but I, I used this before at Squirrels and it was hella nice. So, get some glass on.
Beautiful, beautiful. Then we get, I usually use two rags total, one when it's really wet, and then one to dry it up. So that's basically it for the windows. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my interior is like mostly black, carbon fiber, and like red accent. Uh, that's what I do with the engine bay too. So yeah, that's why I got this red stitching. In case you didn't know, now you know. So this is like an all-purpose gel. So what I do is gel, shake it up pretty quick. You know, get it all, I guess get the water mixture with the gel, get it to blend in. And then I'll spray it on here and I'll use my hand to uh, rub it all around the dash and wherever it is and then get a towel, both towels to wipe it down. So pretty much what we're gonna do. So it comes out as like a foam like this. No, pretty much just my regular hands and I just wipe it like that. I mean, you can also, instead of using your hand, you wanna use a rag, you can as well. But I've been doing, like I've been using a Armorall one since I was small, uh, like younger in my other cars and I always use my hands. I don't know why, it just stuck with me. So I guess you could get all the spots, you know, you want. It goes on all surface, so it really don't matter. You scrub in here. You now you could put some on your hand and then onto the other surfaces. I try to get it on almost all the surfaces, especially down here where my feet tends to kick this area. Steering wheel is pretty new, so I'm not gonna really clean it. But yeah. So now I'll just take this is the this is the wetter one. So I'll take this with a once over and then I'll use the orange again to wipe it again. But I don't really wipe it to dry. I just glancely wipe over it. So I want to leave some of the residue left over on it, but I don't want to see any of the white. So all right peeps, so a closer look it's pretty shiny uh, it don't leave any you know rough streak marks or anything like that scubs it stays pretty damn clean I love this steering wheel oh my god I love it so much but yeah very nice interior the glass is really clear I don't know if you guys could really see it but it's like very very clear uh, I'm actually replacing this right here because uh, I got a red one inside instead of this blue one. Um, this mirror is good. Uh, I'm looking into replacing this head unit. I really want to get the Tesla one, but it might be too big. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the Tesla one all the way down here is too big or should I just get the 10.2 Android one right here? Both of them you can still use your iPhone, so yeah. Um, these trims right here, I want to go carbon fiber and then I don't want, I don't want to overdo my carbon fiber because I already have a lot of it. So either I leave this trim the way it is, which is nice, it's still a gloss black, uh, or I switch it to carbon fiber. Um, let me know, let me know what you guys think. Stays pretty clean right here. Uh, going back to the standard shifter, uh, we don't have the torque solution no more. I do, uh, I am looking for a WK short shifter, which is, it's essentially a longer stick like this and get adapter so I could use my racing shift knob uh, here is really good Dan actually the one with the white evil he has it on his car I do uh, whenever he brings it back from hibernation because it's pretty much gone for the winter he has a truck now uh, he uses truck instead of the evil he used the evil around I think we won't see it to April but whenever he comes if I don't get the short shifter by then we're going to test it on his uh, get in his car and test it um, yeah, so everything else is gonna stay, stay the same. I'm not gonna change too much. Uh, maybe get a vinyl wrap on this emblem. If not, I'll just leave it like that. The interior looks really good. I'm still gonna get a cluster for this. Uh, I got the gauges, like I said, I don't have the cluster yet. Uh, 
waiting for once I have enough to order it because I'm budgeting out. We bought a lot of parts so far, so still on a budget, waiting out uh, a little bit, and then I'll be able to change that up. Um, we do have a cage coming, so it's a Cusco six point cage. Uh, it, it's around the dash instead of going inside the dash. So get that, get it powder coated red as well. Our seats coming in hopefully January with the sliders and bracket. I uh, can't wait to show you guys that. But other than that, I think the interior is good. I'm gonna change some of these uh, light to LED lights because I don't really don't like this yellow lights. Get changes to LEDs, some white lights. Um, but yeah, guys, I do. Oh, also. My front license plate is here because the bracket when I took it off from the bumper is broken so we need to look for a bracket if you have any suggestion on what kind of bracket I should get let me know I do see a Varus one so I ha you know but I know Varus is always expensive so if you got another brand let me know I'm gonna check it out on Amazon you know Facebook market and all that and see if I can find one we still gotta get the tire shine I'm gonna show you guys what I use for tire shine Put. Pretty much it says tire shine <laughs> and they give me this thing Hold up. it'll be a little hard to take it out with one hand there we go so this so i spray it on this and then i just wipe it on the wheels let's go get it just like this pete i just sprayed a couple spray on here and then just guide it along with the See how, see the difference? Oh, just got it all the way around, both sides. Then, boom, you're done with the wheel. I forgot to dry this, so we're gonna have to dry it as well, but let's do this first and then we'll dry it. You don't have to spray a lot. Pretty much you spray a couple of shots and then you can do all four tires with it. You don't have to keep spraying every single tire because it'd be a waste. All right, peeps, everything's put back in the house. Everything is clean. Uh, car is extremely clean. I love it. Sun is setting. Probably take out for a quick ride real quick. But yeah, everything is good. Wait for the four mats right there to dry up. But yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about putting this red thing back on. What do you guys think? I mean, it is a final edition. Can't remember exactly where it was though. I think it was right here. Or was it like underneath here? Or we could put it in the center. Nah, it looks stupid. Yeah, put a final edition back on. Or we could keep it blank. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, peeps, that's it for the vlog. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you like it. I mean, nothing really crazy. It's just a little car cleaning. But anyways, I have all the link of the products down below if you need it. Uh, air freshener type deal like that if you need it be linked below but then that see you next time peace